when you get into Zapier, you'll see all of the products here on the left-hand side, agents, that's where we're gonna be living. This agent is all about prioritizing feature requests. It's the first line of defense when you have new requests coming in to be able to know how to prioritize them against your own company strategy. So I'll start here. This is just a form and we're filling out uh, a new feature request, maybe for a CRM software. So maybe it's a customer portal. Want to check in on tickets something like that. So this is what would kick off this entire process, right? You might have a form where, wherever you might have a form, right? And that's those new feature requests coming in. What this full system looks like though, is this is here in Zapier canvas. So you can map and diagram everything that's uh, going on with a full system. That form was a a Zapier interface, so you can build out those forms and allow customers to actually interact with data, things like that, submit things like feature requests. Once that request comes through, it's stored in a Zapier table. Again, all of this is in the Zapier ecosystem so that your agent can work within this to get kind of larger jobs done. So from there, the prioritization agent takes that new request and it does two things. And this is what I'll show you here in agents in a second. It looks at a strategy document. So this is a data source that's alive and breathing. And the agent is going to check that to look at your product strategy. Could be a Google doc, could be a notion page, lots of other data sources in Zapier agents. It checks that to see if the feature request aligns with your strategy. And then it also looks at the entirety of your feature requests in that Zapier table to understand how frequently it's been requested. Then from there, it makes a decision on what the priority level should be for that feature request. It updates that and gives the justification for it. So when we go into, let's look at the table. Let's do a quick refresh here. When we look at the table, we're gonna see a bunch of feature requests thrown in here. Again, that one I submitted should be here at the bottom, customer portal, wanna check in on tickets. When it comes in, it doesn't have this priority level, but we'll see how the agent actually assigned that as uh, we build it out. So we'll go into the feature request feature prioritization agent. So when we go into configure, we can see this one main behavior here. We can see data sources. Those are included in the behavior, so we can look there first. When we click in, the trigger is that new record in the table, right? The new feature requests that come in, that's going to start this whole process. Once that happens, then we are telling the agent to go ahead and review it, check how many times it's been requested in the feature request table. And that's where we're adding that data source. So when you go here, you can insert data and you can see feature requests. That's a data source that's synced. Every time there's a new record that pops in there, the agent updates and syncs it. So it's up to date. You can add a bunch of different data sources anytime you see this icon here. So a Notion page, et cetera, Google Sheets. So it's taking a look, seeing how many times it's been requested. Then it's looking at this strategy document, another data source. This is just for demo purposes, but you could have it uh, built out here. It's going to check both of those. And then I tell it a decision framework. So one huge thing, and I'm sure like Flo and Jacob could attest to this, letting your agents make a decision, that's where real power comes from. Giving it a framework I found has been super helpful, even if it's super simple like this one, right? This is what high means. This is what medium. This is what low means. Just like an employee on your team, if you're going to delegate a task, giving them some decision frameworks to make a decision, not only helps them make the decision, but helps you understand why they made the decision, which is critical. Just like obviously delegation, like I've said, so helpful to think about it that way. So for this, have the, the framework here, and then I tell it, go ahead and update the record 
with the priority ranking and a, a brief justification. But let's look at the activity. When we view the activity, we can see everything that has happened with this agent. So right here, this is the new record that came in, which was that feature request. And then it looked and matched con content from this table here that had anything to do with that customer portal. Remember, that was the feature request I submitted, customer portal. So anything here that might relate to portal, that's what the agent was looking for. It tells you exactly what it searched for, what it found in the results. And then it also looked at different, different pieces that could be related in that strategy document here. And then it analyzes that. And it says, hey, based on this, like how high of a priority should this be and why? And once it does all that work for you, then you can see it also updates the record. And so when we go into the feature requests, this priority, the priority justification is all filled out exactly right here. So first line of defense from here, you could anytime a priority hits high, maybe you set up a zap and automation to send that into Jira, send it wherever uh, your team is living. And so there, everything that does come in has this filtered down by, by priority.